Alrighty then, Jim Jam here. What it is, what it do, and boy oh boy do I have a review for you. And we have guests for this review. Yes, that's right. Uh, Johnny Leroy and the movie what raccoon up? Yeti. We're going to be reviewing Screwdriver. This is going to be a horror basement podcast review of Screwdriver. So, uh, yeah. For having us, Jim Jam. We appreciate you uh, allowing us to be on your show. Yeah, we do. We appreciate the the, the opportunity. I'm yeah. I'm honored to have y'all on. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought the success was going to your head, but you've allowed us. You you graced us with your presence yeah. to let us be here. So thank you so much, sir. Yeah, I thought he was so, going uh, Hollywood on us there for a minute. I did too. Fucking best. Anyways, God, <sighs> y'all make me feel all special and shit. <laughs> what are we reviewing today, Jim Jam? Screwdriver. I done said it, motherfucker. All right, let's go. The movie, not the band. <laughs> yeah, see? Our 2020 is what it is. 2020? Yep. Grundy uh, I, Nation Films. I'll just tell you what it's about. It's from Chuck Connery uh, and uh, Grundy Nation Films and a lot of other films. Did you companies. say it's a, a no budget horror? Yeah, Tennessee Exploitation Films, is that what it was? Tennessee, Tennessee Exploitation? Yeah, Tennessee, I can't, it's hard for me to pronounce that, dude. I want that on a fucking shirt, by the way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That fucking screwdriver. I've been waiting on this one for a while. Uh, I remember seeing, like, production shots and fucking whatnot about it for a while now. And then it just kind of... <clears throat> I don't know. Well, he got he got quiet, and then bam, the movie's out. Wham! Yeah. Uh, yeah what I, I put in some work during the the quarantine, you know, when nobody, yeah, when everybody was out, you know, they, they they did the work on it, man. This movie, you definitely got to go into it in the mindset of this is a true independent horror, uh, no budget film, which uh, yeah, and. I call it a horror comedy. It's just under horror on on IMDb, but I'll laugh through it because. Oh God, um, damn, this movie is hilarious. <laughs> I, I do I do want to throw out there before we get it. Like if you're if you're like the Hollywood movie type and you only like you know fucking big glossy Bloomhouse shit, just fucking stay away. <laughs> you're not you're you're gonna spend the whole time with your fucking your nose in the air and your thumb in your ass and it's you know this is not for you <laughs> okay so um ryan grooms he i'm sorry real quick but ryan grooms he plays barnabas the uh i guess the killer right yeah 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 chuck keeps a tight cast uh, he, uh the Gurney nation films uses a lot of the same people like some big directors do you know what i'm saying Mm-hmm. And the more films they do, the better they get. So, yeah, I'll give them that. Yeah. So uh, Ryan Grooms, he's the Barnabas, the uh, the killer. And at the beginning, he's uh, called to a house for uh, the shower repair. <laughs> and what he says, Al, I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, dumbass. Did you try turning it? <laughs> yeah. Well, get uh, well. The stereotype is what it was, right? Yeah. We well, say uh, something about she because she's a woman or something. Yeah, she's a woman. You don't understand how a shower works. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and and that it's tongue in cheek. I mean, come yeah, on. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that time. here. It, it, it's <clears throat> not a you know uh, a serious movie. In in my thoughts of it, it's just like this is a fun movie. You go in. It's a little dumb, you know, like the the dumb comedy, which is I like. Yeah, I mean, you shut your brain off and watch, it, you laugh, you have a good time. It's a good time. I do, I do, time. and it's not like some like you know because we mentioned it's, it's it's a low budget film. It's not like that. It's so bad that it's funny. It's like intentionally funny. Yeah, like it's, exactly. They know what they're doing. Yeah. 
And, and uh, Ethan Bolden is in it. He played this funny. He's he, he's Giovanni, which is I thought was hilarious because they live on Grundy Mountain, and <laughs> Giovanni in Grundy to me was just. But this is the the cheesiness. I'll say one part of it, and just the funny where they don't take it themselves seriously in it. He opens the curtains to the the, the door, and then Ryan Grooms pops up, the killer Barnabas. He's yeah, like, just like looking in, and it's just like you know, you know what I'm saying, like <laughs> because that's what happens in movies. Like they open the blinds, and then the killer's like there once they walk away. You know? Yeah. There's um, a lot of then we get yeah. getting a little bit of back and forth of uh, some uh, P, uh, some kiss hating. Uh, the band kiss. They're ta- and then uh, how <laughs> he keeps on getting on. Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, Kane Gilliam plays Darnell. He he's on him about his saying how about his polyester shirt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a I lot think- of really fun, like that whole group that's in the house before shit really cracks off. It's just nothing but ball busting. Yeah. yeah, just it's it's some good quality ball busting. It's fuck. It was fun. So, then out, out comes uh, then well not out comes but in comes uh, Chuck Connery as uh, oh, yeah Ruger. He comes in and he's ready to fight old um uh, Giovanni. That fight scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh, it, Dude. It, it's an enjoyable film. Uh, it's I, fun. It's funny. Um, hey, the practical effects were actually, uh, I felt like they were really well done for, for yeah, dude, what dude. they were using. They're pretty solid. Movie. You know, they, they, some of my favorite parts of the movies of the movie was, um, and Barnabas just kind of wanders around there at this big ass house on, on property and stuff. And there's, you know, sheds and a work truck and stuff. And Barnabas is just going through looking for shit to kill people with. <clears throat> Cause I swear the dude never uses the same weapon twice. He's just got all kind of shit. Well, it's a screwdriver, 11 to 1 ways to die. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they are? 11 in 1 screwdriver, like interchangeable? Yeah, I believe so. Isn't that a reference to the. Uh, yeah. But I can uh, I can read you the, the end clip. I don't know if y'all saved this. I took a picture of it. The very end of the movie. I don't know if y'all watched it to the very end, but. uh. The, the credits it says uh, the movie you just saw is copyrighted in Chuck Connery and Grundy Nation Films. Please don't make awful bootlegs of it and sell it at your local horror convention. <laughs> if you like it, how about you just tell all your friends about it or show it to them? I thought that shit was funny. That is pretty great. <laughs> and then it did say something about uh, everyone knows. If you live in the South, everyone knows someone like these people. <laughs> And it's so fucking true. Like we've all met these people. I have, yeah. you know, personally. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, that's, I mean, I have met most of the people that were in the film, literally. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> I did um, enjoy. I enjoyed the film. I mean, it's a fun film. I fucking, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I feel like they just let. Ryan improv a bunch of shit while he was looking for stuff. They're, they just put him in the shed. This is so, oh my, that's a, that's, a, that's a damn good hammer. Yeah. Right. What, what, what was it, the one where he said something about, the hell they don't go on them uh, miter saw or damn perfectly good level? <laughs> yeah. So that's a damn good miter saw. He goes to pick it up. Fucking bolted down. <laughs> <laughs> so much is heavy. We, oh, I love it when he gets to the uh, the skill saw. Oh, very picks it up and says, "Hell, it ain't working." It's no wonder it's one of them Hitachi's. <laughs> yeah. Damn Japanese or shit. Or he's, or he's cussing him for not leaving beef jerky in the work truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a damn good killer. His Barnabas was was a, was a fun fucking character. They do is hilarious. Yeah. There's some uh, oh. there's some good wrestling. There's some wrestling going on. You can see that coming coming through that that pro wrestling background coming through a little bit. Yeah. The to- um, the one. Uh, let's see. Which... 
Tyler Thorne plays Octavius, which Tyler Thorne is actually a professional indie wrestler here around town. Yep. Uh, him and his dad wrestle together as the Thorne family. But uh, we've cool. actually seen him a couple times wrestle. We went and seen uh, Tennessee All Pro Wrestling, and he was up there with. Uh, at that time, Chuck and Ethan were announcing, but now they have moved into their wrestlers now. Or the commentators Grundy boys. or whatever you want. Yeah, they were, they were commentators at the time, but now Ryan, uh, Ethan, and Chuck are the Grundy boys, and they're yeah, wrestling. It, the, the movie's fun. All pro wrestling's fun. I mean, if you're in, the, if you're in this area, that's a lot of fun. Uh, the movie's a lot of fun. You can hit up, uh, I imagine you can uh, go to Grundy Nation Films or something on Facebook, and try to get a copy of screwdriver correct I, we will, yeah. we'll, i'll find it and i'll put it in the description yeah so. yeah, it's totally totally totally. yeah i mean and, and it's a cool case it's a yellow case and you know what i'm saying yeah. it, it, the artwork is actually up for this video it's right in the middle of the screen right here so um yeah it's really cool uh it's a good film support indie horror you know what i'm saying like, yeah uh, um chuck's worked on many films uh Corey Jordan was in this film. He did he director of Chicken's Blood and you know, co writer of it. And his yeah, you know, yeah. this film too, a lot of them. And he plays a funny character. I think his character was hilarious. Uh, yeah, I did too. <laughs> he had a lot of lines and like uh, to remember all that shit. I don't know if it was all scripted, but just to remember what he had to remember, I was just like, Holy shit. You talking about uh Corey's stuff? Yeah, I was just yeah. like, Man and the way that he said it and, and, and I just I thought it was yeah. funny. I, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of a, like, all the characters are funny. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The one-liners and shit, and I'm Ethan's hoping, character Giovanni. It just, it, I, you know these people. Like if you lived in the, if you live in the South, you know these people. Like you do. Yeah. So that was the review for Screwdriver. I definitely need to check this out. Appreciate y'all guys for coming on and uh. Hey and, uh, man. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Sorry right, for yeah. ruining your flow. Yeah, we definitely need to do more uh, reviews with all of us together. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah we do. So, until the next review, I'm out. Peace. Y'all do care now. Yep. Yeah.